Thanksgiving just three days away now, and a local celebrity chef is making sure your table has some amazing food this year. All right, Michael Simon has some tips on how to prepare your turkey and make sure none of your guests will leave hungry. That's right. I had a chance to speak with him about his new cookbook that's out that's amazing, and also some great tips to help make your holiday even more special. Here with Michael Simon, and we're looking forward to Thanksgiving. You have your eighth cookbook out. I know, it's crazy. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Thank you very much. It's, it's been, a, and this one's done very well. It's our, probably our biggest seller so far. Um, so we're excited. Simply Simon Suffers. What, what I love is you have your mother's recipe in there for Sunday sauce. Yeah. You have great desserts, great cocktails, but this huge, and pardon my post-it notes, because they're pretty much on every page. I, love I this. have to flag every page. And I didn't want to bend the corners because it's such a gorgeous book. Thank you. Wanna... <laughs> but you have a whole section dedicated to holidays. Yeah, I, I think holidays are when, like we did 52 weeks of dinners and, and then holidays also, because I feel holidays are when people stress out. For so sure. like I wanted to give them like here's recipes that we do that you could use they're foolproof set it and you're good I love the Thanksgiving stuff that you did too. Yeah. Now we've all had our Thanksgiving day mishaps. My oh first God. turkey rolled down the stairs after rinsing it off. My mom and I still cooked it because what are you going to do? It's Thanksgiving fine. Morning? It's going Everything in the hot oven. It's right? fine. It kills everything. Yeah. Right? Oh, you had a I had a horrible turkey. so. My grandfather, Pap, who I have a lot of his recipes in the book. You he, do. Yeah, I love. I loved my Pap. Yes, yeah, corn, corn pudding, which we do every Thanksgiving. <gasps> yes, yes. He lived 103 years old, and he always did Thanksgiving. But when I was chef at Caxton Cafe 30 years ago, he's like, "I want you to take over Thanksgiving. We're still due to my house, but I want chef, you to take right? over." So I'm like, "Got it." So I'm gonna <laughs> do it. I order a turkey, a big turkey, and I season it at the restaurant, and I go to his house. And it doesn't fit in his oven. Uh, uh -huh. So I have bottom to, drawer. You have it on the bottom. Oh my God! Nothing. Couldn't fit it. it. Go in. So I have to go. I go back to the restaurant. My whole family's at my grandfather's house, and I go back to the restaurant by myself, cook the turkey no. by myself, <laughs> and then bring it back to Pap's house for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh my God! Yeah, it's like the, when when Liz and I built our first kitchen. The first thing I said is, "This oven is going to be big enough to fit any size turkey I want to put in it." <laughs> Pounder it wasn't a 30 pounder, but you know, he had it. It was an older house yeah. with an older oven, and you know, yeah. it just I was it just wouldn't go in. That's awful. it was terrible. All right, well, hopefully, you don't have any of those no. in this house. What, what are some of your suggestions uh, this week, Thanksgiving? People are buying their stuff yes, now. That's a good so... plan. I mean, get ahead, make a plan, uh, make a, a like a very even someone who's cooked their entire life, like me. My plan is broken down to the like. 10:45, do this. 10:50, do this. And I make a whole list for the, the, what I want to do three days before, two days before, day of. And the most important thing is because there's so many things going on for Thanksgiving. Make an oven schedule. That's so, a great like, idea. your turkey goes in at this time. When the turkey comes out to rest, you could put in your X in the oven. You know, mm -hmm. so you have a schedule of when you could use things. And you're Clevelanders, so you're tough when it's cold outside. If you get kind of crammed up on oven space, don't be afraid to use your grill as another oven outside. Oh, good idea. So you do have, you know, Clevelanders typically have a grill and they grill in the summer, right. but you could use that grill as a warmer or another oven so to give yourself, a, free yourself up a little more space. Right. What are some of your favorite dishes? For the holidays? For, for Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. So in the book, I have my grandfather's uh, corn pudding. It's yeah. incredibly simple and delicious. It's, there's a lot of when it, he uses, he used a, a Jiffy corn mix to make his corn pudding. Oh. And I grew up eating it and I'm like, this is the greatest thing. And then when I became a chef, I'm like, I'm not using this right. corn mix it's stuff. Jiffy. I'm gonna use polenta and I'm gonna make it fancy. And I made like a big chefy one. And everybody in my family's like, what did, you, what did you do to the corn pudding? Oh. So now to this day, I still make Pap's recipe. Stay with yeah, the Yeah, and stay with right? it. And you could fancy it up a little bit yeah. if you want, but that's the one thing that has to be on our table or there's a riot. Um, and we, I mean, this year we'll probably have 40 people for Thanksgiving. So wow. I do a lot of turkeys. But, you know, if you're doing more than one turkey, uh, like do a classic one. So like you have the show turkey. And I, I really think there's great benefits to either doing a spatchcock turkey or a broken down turkey so it cooks faster What's and more evenly. So first? spatchcock is like if you, uh, they do it with chickens a lot. If they cut the backbone out of the turkey, they could lay it flat. Oh, and then so it, it will fit in the oven. It will fit in the oven and it will cut your cooking time by half. Really? Yeah, That's by fantastic. half. So if you're not like, oh, I need this big, 
you know, Grandiose, grand thing, beautiful it, it cuts it in half. Um, also in the book, we always do a cheesecloth method with the turkey, which keeps it much that. more well, here's moist. I saw that. corn pudding, which I already flagged oh, last yeah, night because that looks uh, so yes, good. amazing. The recipes for that, and then looky there. Oh, the cheesecloth. Yeah. So you cover it in buttered cheesecloth, and then you don't have to baste it. And you could see when you pull it off, that's not like magic of TV stuff. It's it just actually just gets golden, and the skin is perfect every time. It's my grandfather told me taught me how to do this. 40 years ago, Whoa. and I've never done a turkey a different way. Amazing. Yeah. Now you'll have 41 people over. Come on. You're I'll be there welcome. for Thanksgiving. <laughs>